I'm connected to the grandness of the sea and the nature and that connects me to the sky and the clouds and then beyond that to the stars and it makes me uh, feel like I'm connected to man's spirit that pervades the universe. I've spent the better part of my life making long voyages at sea. I said, what can I do next whereby I will evolve as a person and as a sailor? Sonia and I are preparing to go a thousand days at sea without coming to shore or receiving supplies. This will be the longest non-stop sea voyage in history. We leave the land and we go into this void-like space and we subsist without help from anyone and we learn to live there for a thousand days. I think that I'm really lucky to be able to take a wonderful woman with me to sea. I like the concept. I like the whole idea of going out to sea and seeing nothing and being out there alone in this really isolated environment. And even though I wasn't familiar with the ocean or anything having to do with boats. I designed and built this boat as the ultimate long distance heavy weather sailboat. That was the idea, to build a boat that could go anywhere and stay far away and that I could repair it, that I could ride out any storm. That was 28 years ago. It wasn't until years later um, that I read space psychology and I realized that a lot of the things that they were talking about were things that I knew by experience from having spent a lifetime at sea under the stars feeling like I was um, voyaging out into space and feeling like I was at least voyaging not in this world. I probably don't know what I'm getting myself into but hey whatever <laughs> you know I'm getting myself into it anyway. Hey, uh, thanks a lot, everybody, for coming. Thanks for coming. And there's a, a lot of people here who have made this voyage possible, and we couldn't have done it without you. And it goes back longer than the 10 years that we've been here, that we've uh, been trying to get this voyage together. But there's a real team of supporters who have given so much to help make this voyage possible and make it happen. Because they love you, Reed. And I sure appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. Stay in, uh, in touch through our website. Okay. Bon voyage. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. And I'm so lucky to have Sonia. She's really proven herself to me, and I feel really lucky. Okay. She just fell in love with the trip before she fell in love with Reed, and there um, she must be very strong. Those sails are hard to put up. Reed's an artist. He's a sailor. Um, he isn't a mainstream person in 20th century. He's a hippie sailor living a low-budget lifestyle on a sailboat. The reality is it's kind of a little bit off the grid kind of project. Reed's not about speed, technology, and beating the other guy. He uh, has his good and bad points. He's a bit egocentric, but uh, he's got to be. He's the one living this dream. He's the guy making this stuff happen. It's April 21st, 2007, and we're off on a thousand day voyage. Everything's looking real good. It's kind of awesome realizing what we're doing, but I'm trying not to think about it. I'm just looking at the sea and I'm feeling so grateful and so happy to be out here.
I know that I'm in for some hardship. Because obviously, you know, if it's only going to be two people on a boat, you know, things are going to happen. The schooner's a big schooner, and he's operating that stuff all by himself. Yeah, there's the risk factor. Any small error can be catastrophic. We were run into by a ship. Sure, there are some times when I have my moments of doubt. As long as he doesn't hit any hurricanes, he'll be fine. 